hectic. Did I get our corner? We're going to be having a good year to hectic night. And we're stitching this mini about the SABC. It is time for us to get real with our sports stars, which are in the building. We are joined by Davy Jacobs all the way from Canada via Skype. And we also have Noah Sadawi in the building. And he, we're going to be talking about uh, what the realities are of being a sportsman. Before we do that, mm. it's something I need to get out, guys. Do it. The entire day, I've been trying to find songs which I can fit the name Noah into. So Noah, I'm going to show you now which songs. First of all, wow. it's Noah, Noah, Noah. And, and of course, Shalom on it, baby, Ben Noah. Baby, Ben Noah. Baby, Ben Noah. Let me see you do the one. Um, which one? I, I can't wait. Belly Leo. But anyway, uh, David, thank you very much for joining us and making time out of your busy schedule. Uh, tell us, for those who don't know who you are, tell us a bit about what you do and who you are, basically. Yeah, well, I've been a professional cricket player for the, for about 15 years now. Um, yeah, I've been playing in T20 tournaments around the world and other tours as well. Uh, I was a Warriors franchise captain for about six, seven years. Um, I'm in Canada at the moment, just basically carrying on with the game. I'm moving more into coaching. Um, I've retired from two of the formats, but still playing T20 cricket. So yeah, it's it's a busy life, but it's a lot of fun. Awesome stuff. Nice, I mean, there you have it. Um, David, of course, you have a story that you can relate to. You are from the US and you play football and you're all the way down into Cape Town. I mean, how has that uh, been for you? How's the change been? Uh, yeah, definitely when I first came here, it was uh, very difficult for me. Uh, I mean, uh, there's nothing better than home, but mm -hmm. uh, you always have to adjust. And um, yeah, this is what I love, so I just adjust quickly. Football. Yeah, yeah guys, from Noah right there. You know, being away from, from home, Davy, I mean, you've got family here, and now you go all the way to Canada. People kind of assume that being a sportsman, especially when you go and play abroad, is going to be glamorous, you're going to live this high life, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Is this the case? And if so, if not, uh, how is it different? Yeah, I think it is the case. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, it's something you dream about when you when you're a kid, and you know, it's a it's a lot of work and it's, it is tough. Um, I've got two little goals now, um, so that obviously obviously changes things. If if you asked me like six years ago before we had kids, I would have said 100. percent That's all you want to do all your yeah. life. <laughs> but now, like when it starts to get to like a month or two when you're away and you you're Skyping and you get the messages and the little voice notes on WhatsApp, you're thinking like, man, you know, what yeah. am I doing? But I mean, it's, it's at the end of the day, it's all for them. So it's cool, all the glam and all that, and you have fun. Uh, but at the end of the day, you want to go home to your family and you want mm. them to be in the house. Mm. Now, on the flip side with Noah, Noah, you've come from the US and a lot of people I feel like in South Africa would look at it as a step down because you've come from, this, from the US, from the the US and now you're Hollywood. coming to South Africa <laughs> and you're leaving your family behind to come be here. What was the inspiration behind that move? Uh, I mean, I was playing in Israel uh, from Kabi Haifa mm -hmm. and um, I mean, you never know with soccer where you're going to end up and stuff like that mm. is what teams are interested in you and things like that and uh, I mean I looked into the city and it's a very, very beautiful city and um, I was interested to come down here. Yeah. Uh, Noah, tell me about the training though. I mean obviously you miss your family and things like that but what is it that keeps you busy? How is the training like? I mean everyone feels like yeah you know what I'm gonna just be on the field and I'm gonna be Lionel Messi but obviously you can't be. There's a whole training and segment uh, behind this. Uh, yeah I mean uh, I would say I'm self-motivated. Uh, my parents, uh, my dad played sports before, so he mm -hmm. played basketball and I uh, learned a lot of things from him and uh, even <coughs> at the club we have um, uh, people there for you to support you and always there for you mm -hmm. when things mm -hmm. are not going right. Mm -hmm. So I mean, um, for me I just like to work hard and I always uh, have motivation to do better. Mm -hmm. Now, Davy, it can't all be glitz and glam. Surely there are some downsides to being a, a, a renowned sportsman. Can you tell us a bit about those? Because we are talking about hashtag getting real here on Hectic Today. I can talk about hashtags all day. I love them. Um, <laughs> no, just in general, I think um, just normal human interaction is something you do miss sometimes, you know, because you meet a lot of people and it's cool and all that, but sometimes you just want to be real and just want to chill with people. Uh, two weeks ago, I don't know if you watched the series Suits, um, yes, I bumped yes, into, the guy Mike Ross, I bumped into him in downtown Toronto. Wow. Oh, that's nice. 
I was actually a little bit starstruck. You know, we had just had a quick conversation, and I took a photo with him, like people have done with me over the years with cricket. Hashtag fan girl. And, yeah, <laughs> hashtag giggling a little bit there for one stage. But I mean, I tried to be as normal as possible. I've met other Hollywood stars as well, and they all say the same thing. I mean, they're on, on another level than us, but sometimes I just want to have a normal conversation and chat. You know, how are you doing? What's life? And not like, what is life like? What's the cricket like? Yes. What's sports? The traveling and all that. So, probably just to chill with the boys, people you don't always know, and just be normal and not talk about what you do, basically. And I'm going to ask you guys the same question, but I'm going to start off with you, Davy. How important is a proper support system and getting proper, like, good friends when you move to a different city to go and, you know, live this life? No, it's massive and I mean you need a base, you need something to work from. It's it's like anything in training or business or school or whatever, you need a base to work from. So you can have good days and bad days. In cricket terms, if, if you're a batter and you get a duck, you get out first ball, I mean it's not great. Or yeah. you get out, you had a great day. But whether you do well or not, you wanna go home to something, you know? Mm -hmm. And fans will be disappointed in you and on social media you'll get messages, oh it was disappointing, or oh, well done or whatever. But when you get home, it doesn't matter how you did, your family, your friends, they're gonna be there and they're gonna be cool. You're gonna sit, you're gonna have dinner and a beer or milkshake or whatever you're gonna have. But I mean, they're always gonna be there. And I don't think you can really make it as a sportsman without some sort of a support system, like mm. you said. No, do you agree? Yes. Awesome and, stuff. Uh, I mean, for me, um, uh, I try to choose my friends wisely. Yeah. Uh, people that have the same mindset and goals as you. Mm. And that helps a lot. And also, since I don't have family here, um, uh, we have a ref at Ajax, and he always motivates me when things are not going right for me and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's good support for me. And we are talking about uh, alternatives to processed food um, in process. the studio. Yeah, so we're talking about, uh, like, so tell us about the kind of food that you would eat before getting onto the field, onto the pitch. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm very lucky in that sense. You know, we got, my wife and I got married like really young at like 21, 22. So she's always done all the cooking. Yes. And she's she taught me how to eat and all that. So I've always been on like a really healthy diet. But um, my diet's always been packed with protein and stuff. You know, you need to load yourself the morning before mm. a training day or a game day. And then you need to replace those things afterwards. But I feel like just what you eat is massive. You can train as hard as you want. You can be mentally as strong as you want, but physically, yep. you need you need that support. And you need to eat right. So yeah, for me, diet is massive. And no, you know, from practicing to actually going onto the field, how many how many hours would you say you spend playing soccer a day? Um, we start practice 9:30. Uh, depends when is the game and stuff like that. But it could be from an hour and a half, to two hours. Wow. Right. And sometimes there's double session, especially now that it's preseason. Okay, so you're working up yeah. before preseason, before you even get onto that field. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there you have it. Thank you so much, though, Davey, for uh, joining us today at Sky mm -hmm. Fair. And thank you to you, sir. Noah, right over there. Thank but of you. course, it's all about process and unprocessed. So I feel like, you know, we're going to have to be eating a bit later. <laughs>